were, but we were full, all the beds were full, so everyone was coming. Even like this child's patient will, will sort of put temporarily in this room. Here in Kunduz, we had real intensive care unit. I remember patient being intubated, paralyzed, and we were really giving the best we could have offered. And so now we did rounds again. I did rounds, but I did rounds about hearing the story of each patient. Wow. There was a blast when he was crossing. So they found parts of his body inside and parts of his body outside. And this is where... And I think hearing the stories of, um, or particularly about a patient that uh, the younger was doing better, and then we've told the parents, come tomorrow. Come tomorrow because she's safer here. And then when they came back and came back to body the next day, they could only see ashes. There was nobody to pick up. So, yeah, a very profoundly disturbing experience. In memory of Abdul Maksud, Abdul Nasir, Abdul Salam. We read this, I would say, unique and uh, very overwhelming emotional moment to bring our word of sympathy from across the movement to the families of our staff who lost their life. And you, the families left to mourn. So after the ceremony, we had a moment with the family to discuss with them in a more personal way. So it was a very uh, intense moment. They shared their, I would say, their sorrow, but as well their anger and their question.